Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing kind of an update video on the 5 Hertz computer. It's been like five months since I made that first video, and I know I said I was almost done, but turns out I'm basically nowhere close. So where we left off was I said I was almost done with the computer I just needed to do comp, uh, conditional statements turns out it's not possible to do conditional statements on the design I had made um, the main reason for this is I didn't plan for them I should have seriously done some planning before I actually tried to build it that's what happened to the previous design of this one I didn't plan and it made it not work but since then I have started a new design here looks a lot smaller lot cleaner but it still doesn't work this one is for some of the same reasons as the last one not functional and its main reason is pistons pistons are very unreliable but it's also kind of hard to do conditional statements on this one as well so because of that recently I have switched to vertical redstone instead of horizontal redstone so this is the start of the hopefully last attempt of the 5 Hertz computer. Um, it's all vertical. So this is ROM. This is the uh, five registers. One less from the last time. Um, so yeah, it's just a little cleaner, a little nicer, a little easier to build. Um, and I also have this new adder. This is going to be the adder I turn into an ALU, which will go into the computer. But it's pretty special in the fact that it is one tick. So it takes a tenth of a second to compute an ALU operation, which is four times faster than the last ALU I made. Um, so it's, it's going to make things a lot easier when it comes to data hazards. For example, in the last computer I made, we had these three no operations, no ops, that I had to have here. That is a data hazard because I can do two ALU operations right next to each other. This one, this new design, almost completely removes that. It brings that gap down from three to one instruction. It's still not perfect, but I don't think it's possible to make it perfect. I mean, I didn't think a uh, one tick CCA was possible, but we'll see. Um, another thing is I'm going to be doing a separate video on this CCA adder, because if you know anything about computational redstone, you'll probably be saying this is impossible right now. Um, and I want to show you how it is not impossible and how it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it basically exploits a kind of restriction from the game that Mojang put in, kind of uses it to make things a lot faster. But yeah, I'll be doing another separate video on that one. Um, but yeah, once I turn this into an ALU, I can slap it on to right here, hook it all up, add some conditional logic and add all the instructions and we should have a working CPU, hopefully. I don't know if I'm gonna be trying this again because it is currently the fourth attempt. So hopefully there won't be too many more attempts. I've already implemented a few instructions. I've implemented load immediate and I've implemented move. Um, and there are only, as far as I know, going to be two data hazards. A data hazard in the move instruction and in the ALU instructions and it's basically only a one instruction gap between move instructions and a one instruction gap between ALU operations those are the only two problems in the entire thing and I don't think they can be removed um, but yeah so that's basically what I've been working on for the past five months i might do a few more of these videos if it takes a long time to finish this one 
Um, we'll see, though. Hopefully it won't be too long. But yeah, if you have any suggestions or questions in the comments below, go ahead and ask, and I'll try and answer it. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you later.